Hey everybody, so we are getting ready to can some beef tips and gravy. So I have two trays of this beef that I, oops, sorry, cut up into bite-sized pieces. It was already cut up, but it was pretty big chunks. And I have some, a large, a great big onion cut into fairly large cubes and two pounds of cremini mushrooms quartered and they're ready to go. I washed them and cut them up. So I'm going to add my first batch of meat to a very hot pan. I'm going to use Lowry's garlic powder and black pepper. I know that's probably loud. I have my jars in a pot, my canning pot over here, and it's on low, keeping them warm. I'm going to brown off all of my meat. I have two batches to do, and I'm going to season it with the Lowry, the garlic, and the pepper. And when that's done, I'll be back. You also will need some clear gel and beef broth. Okay, so here's all our meat. And now we are going to add our mushrooms and onions. I had to get a bigger pot. I don't know what I was thinking. And stir that in. just want to shrink these mushrooms a little bit because we I try to avoid having too much shrinkage in the jars get these onions broke up to add our beef broth. You want to cover everything with the broth. And we are going to bring this back up to a bubble and for every three quarts of liquid you use, you want to use a quarter cup of clear gel. You can add or use less if you want if you want a thinner gravy. So it depends on how thick you want your gravy. But we have to bring it up to a boil to get this to thicken. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to mix uh, three quarters of a cup of clear gel with some beef broth and then we'll be back. Okay, we've come up to a bubble and the mushrooms have started to shrink. So, hopefully I don't have to open another clear gel, but I've mixed it with some beef broth. We're just gonna add that. just 
shook it up in the container with what I had left. Bring it back up to a boil to see how thick it gets. I'm going to taste it for seasoning. Let's make sure it has enough salt. some more pepper and salt. And when you open up these jars of beef tips and gravy, you can add sour cream to it and make stroganoff. You can add Worcestershire. All that and change up the flavors to create different dishes, so that's always nice. I'm really hoping I'm not going to have to add more clear gel, but we'll see. And we're not trying to cook this fully in here. I'm just trying to get the shrinkage out of everything and the gravy thickened. And it will thicken a little bit more in the canning process as well. And I'm figuring on about four quarts here. I'm going to get some salt. came running out. Dear mommy's babies, my little kitchen buddies. No barky barky, okay? So I'm going to let this come back to a boil. I'm sure you don't want to stare at a pot, plus a watch pot never boils. Okay, this is what it looks like now. And you can make it thicker than that if you want, but it will thicken up a little bit in the canning process. Or you can can it like this and thicken it up more for whatever dish you decide you're going to make with it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in jars because I'm tired and I don't want to open up another container right now and so I can thicken it up more depending on what I do with it, but you can thicken it as much as you want. So we're going to get our jars ready and fill them up. Okay, so we are going to fill these up to one inch of head space. solids first. And like I said, my jars are warm. I just want to make sure I distribute everything evenly. I have everything ready except For my vinegar. I 
Yep, I think I'm going to get four quarts. And the meat goes down to the bottom, so. Sorry, I'm bumping you. I don't know if any of you watch TikTok, but there are a lot of videos of military moving into Belarus. We have told our people to get out and we will not be getting them out of the Ukraine if they don't leave on their own. So there's that. Okay, I've got a lot of meat in the bottom. Spooge that everywhere. So, anyways, if you're interested in what's going on there, you can find a lot of videos on TikTok right now. Just try to stay busy and not focus on all of that. My husband's on base and nothing's being said. So I'm going to see if I get any more chunks out of here. I don't want to leave any of that precious meat. See, look at all that meat. Can tell when I'm tired and hurting if I get very messy. <laughs> And if you have a lot of um, gravy left, you can can that for 20 minutes on its own. So you'll have gravy on hand. Okay. Let me get my vinegar. And these will process for 90 minutes. I've got my seal and meal and everything, or my food saver, all over here. So I've been vacuum sealing my masa, my flour. putting sugar in buckets. It's just been one of those days. Uh, vacuum sealing. Uh, 
broccoli, dehydrated broccoli. Because here pretty soon, I want to start my seeds for peppers and things like that that take a really long time to germinate. I'm going to start those in February. So if you use vinegar, it helps you, it removes the oils better. You don't want to use vinegar if you're canning with dairy though, especially milk or anything. It will turn to cheese. These are hot. My canner is already warm. Fingertip tight. Okay. Let's see if I have a jar for that gravy. with it. We'll have two points of pints of gravy if we need it. Let's see if I got some of my ball lids. I like saving my lemon for the important canning. <laughs> Sounds odd, I'm sure. soapy water. So, don't want to put you on the hot burner. There's our pot. Don't fall down. Now you have a V on that handle right there. And we have a V on our lid right there. You match those up. Lock it, turn up our heat. When this comes up, this will pop up over here and this will vent steam for 10 minutes. You want it to vent steam for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you're going to add your weight. When your weight comes to a very gentle rock, set your timer for 75 minutes pints, 90 minutes quarts, and then if it starts going too fast, just adjust your heat. Everybody's stove is different. So I will see you when these are coming out in 90 minutes. Well, after that, you want it to come down from pressure on its own and then even let it sit for a little while. And uh, you won't, you shouldn't have any siphoning or anything like that. So I will see you when they're coming out. Okay, we're ready. All 
always take the lid off away from your face. Take out our little gravies. Need to fit one more on here. So there we go, you guys. Beef tips and gravy with mushrooms and onions. And I have a dog that's mad that I left him. So, and two pints of gravy that are going to sing for a while because they really processed. So, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down below. If you try this, let me know how you like it. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy.